Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. Uh, as you can see, I have my used cheat sheet, which I was using in the previous video. And now that it has several coats of acrylic, it has become a little easier to handle. I cut some sections out just to help it lay flat on the plate because this is uh this is cheap plastic really it's uh, a low grade of plastic used for shopping bags and i was just trying to get as much use out of it as possible i'm going to use Amsterdam graphite, another one of my favorite colors. It, it's like a gunmetal color. And I'm just going to use that one color all over. and see how this works out. Because otherwise this uh, piece of plastic will just get discarded so I thought I might as well get the most use out of it okay I have an even fairly heavy coat and the advantage of using this cheat sheet is it comes off in one piece I right, take that back but it's easier than peeling off the stencils one by one. As you can see, the, the leftover gold has left a coating of paint all over. I don't think that's going to transfer because it's already dry. So this is the first layer. And as you can see also here, I added a piece of wood to make this barrier much higher because the paper sometimes goes over the edge and then the uh, image gets out of center and that bothers me. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes. So in the meantime, I will just tidy up my table. It gets cluttered with stuff in no time.
Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what we have here. It's a very interesting first layer. I usually start with having a background color. Now this time I decided I want to have these shapes down first and do some variations with collage and some layers of paint, some opaque and some transparent. I will allow this to dry and then I will be right back. It just occurred to me while trying to clean this that this might make an interesting ghost print. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. This is uh, beige by Lucas, and I have watered it down. So I will see if the water will activate the paint that's underneath. Maybe, maybe the paint is way too watery. I'm going to add some more pigment. Again, uh, this is just an experiment. I'm really unsure of the result, but I'm willing to give it a try. So here's the first layer, and hopefully the what's underneath will show through.
Okay, let's see what we got. It did pick up. I can tell that it's picked up the first layer because it's sticking to the plate. It even picked up some of the gold. I think this is pretty cool. It has a very subtle textures almost like some ancient scroll uh, so I will allow this to air dry and then decide on the next step don't go away okay it's been about 10 minutes let's see if the transfer is successful i'm i'm a little more confident with this fabriano because it's it's really a thick paper It's a very uh, pebbly kind of texture. It's almost like an etching. something different here very cool very different I think this would make a wonderful background for additional layers so uh, let me air dry this and then come back when I figure out what to do next Okay, I have taken the pieces that I cut out from my cheat sheet. You, you can't really see them because they're clear. But um, I'm going to place some of this copper, or what's left of it. It's really not much left. I have to cut open this. There. This way I can get to the last drops. I'm going to do a combination of this deep gold and pewter
Some of the stencils peeled off, but I'm just going to keep going. Okay. This, these are so thin that it's it feels like I'm peeling off a uh, scotch tape. Now I, I don't think they are reusable because they're so thin. And they're kind of hard to spot. Okay, I think I have them all. Okay, this is the print with the mottled background. Okay, I will leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes and keep my fingers crossed. Okay, let's see what we got. This is the exciting part. Pretty interesting. Very, um, it looks like gold leaf. Very cool. Like hammered metal. Um, so I will allow this to air dry and then come back and decide what the next step will be.
Okay, everybody, I uh, did a lot of brainstorming and rummaging through my box of uh, scrap paper for collage. And I, I have assembled here some small pieces to balance out the composition. Since this is a very subtle, understated background, I thought I would um, exercise some restraint and not go too crazy. And I want to show you something interesting. This is uh, my cheat sheet, my plastic cheat sheet, and it dried overnight. And I found these pieces so attractive they really look like uh, gold leaf and uh, they have a nice metallic sheen to them and I figured you know there's nothing wrong about incorporating these pieces into the collage uh, they will take to Mod Podge because uh, I know that Mod Podge, which is PVA, that's polyvinyl acetate. It's a non-toxic glue, and it's going to work with plastic, and it will fuse plastic to paper without any problem. So, these are pieces of the uh, cheat sheet and this is black tissue paper and this is a piece of the uh, stencil this is paper but it does look like a piece of uh, gold leaf so I'm going to start before I forget where they are I'm going to start mounting them Now, even if the plastic is non-porous, I think the uh, glue is going to do its job and make it stick to the paper. I think, in fact, when it is mounted, you really can't tell that it's not paper. It just blends right in. And that's what I am intending. Now, the reason why I do all the uh, placement of the collage pieces, uh, it is a very long, tedious process, and I don't think it's necessary to show that on camera. I think what's more important is I show the final result.
Okay. And lastly, it's this black tissue. Now I think of these elements of collage like uh, I compare them to punctuation marks in a sentence like periods and exclamation points and commas. I think they do add a lot to the piece. Okay, I think I made a mess here. Okay, I think that does it for this first piece. And I will recap when this is dry. Now here is the second piece, which looks like gold leaf. And I thought I would add this very long black element as a counterpoint. And these are pieces of the cheat sheet. Here, let me show you. I think it's quite attractive. Like a sheet of precious metal or copper. So, let me just get my... This is my uh, gluing pad. It's a piece of foam core. And I have to use it to protect the edges from drips. First, I will do this piece. This is a piece of copy paper. These are the smaller. Smaller pieces of the cheat sheet. Okay, let me do this piece up here. Now 
and then this leaf shape. And lastly, it's this very long vertical piece. Now I put the uh, long vertical black piece to contrast with the texture because what I like to do is when something, uh, when there is too much of the texture, I like to introduce uh, plain areas to create contrast and balance. Okay. So I will air dry this piece and recap when the two are dry. So don't go away. Okay, everybody. Here's the best part of this video is when we do a recap. And here is the piece. It's all dried now. And the uh, Fabriano paper has straightened out. Uh, let me do a close up. show you the subtle textures. And what I like is here and there, there will be the glint of gold, much like gold leaf. Okay, that is print number one. And here is print number two. I do like the kind of sandy texture and There's this gleam of metallic gold all over the print. Now the shapes of the stencils are not as sharp. They're a little um, 
kind of diffused. And that's why I introduced some solid areas of black to be a counterbalance to that. And I think the uh, pieces of cheat sheet work very well. Uh, they kind of just blend right in. So anyway, thanks for coming along for the ride. I really enjoyed doing these two metallic pieces and I had a lot of fun making use of my cheat sheets. It's really improvised and I wasn't expecting to be able to get some mileage out of this. So uh, thank you so much for watching and for all you wonderful subscribers, my deepest appreciation. And for those who can, please donate to the uh, PayPal account so that I can keep this channel afloat. I hope to see you next time.